Jesse McDougall here doing another book review. Fix and Flip. The Canadian how-to guide for buying, renovating, and selling property for a fast profit. Make huge bucks, do nothing, get paid fast, big bucks. Little do you actually know. Uh, there's some stat like, oh shoot, it's in this book somewhere. It's like 80% of people who do their first real estate deal lose money. And when you're thinking of fixing and flipping a house for a first property deal and you're say kind of just like an average dude, like, you know, working and stuff and doing a, a deal on the side, best case scenario, you're looking at making 15 grand profit. Okay. So that really, that for me personally, that doesn't, you know, I'm not doing backflips and, Yay, 15 grand, like, woo. Um, but do two or three of those, it adds up a lot. Personally, for me, with a, my strategy with real estate, what I've done is I've got the property, I've done the renovation, but I kept on to it. So instead of getting my, uh, I don't know, on all my properties, uh, I've had profit margins, you know, anywhere from 10 to 20 grand or 25 grand. I don't even know. I think more than that. I don't care. I don't follow the quick dollar. I'm an accountant, I follow the consistent monthly amounts, right? So taking a shorter amount of money over a longer period of time is more money than taking 15 grand profit. And when people say 15 grand profit, they typically don't subtract lawyer fees, legal fees, and other closing costs. So huge, huge. Before you get your first deal, I highly recommend you pick up some of these books. Before, I think... I don't know when I bought this book. I think I had uh, two or three houses already. I had two for sure. Then I went and bought every book at Chapters you could buy on real estate because I just want to know everything. Is it overkill? I don't care if it's overkill. I built a successful business, so it worked for me. Uh, let's get into this fix and flip. Oh, but one thing about, um, it was really interesting, really interesting. I bought uh, <clears throat> first couple of houses or bought the first house and I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't even know how to paint a wall, like for real. But if I can become a chartered accountant, I could figure out how to put paint on the wall and put baseboards on and put new carpet on. Um, <clears throat> and the people you talk to, the experts, I call them, they over talk and make glorify and this is complicated. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. We can put a man on the moon, we can figure out how to put these baseboards on. That's my kind of philosophy. Um, the second house I bought, uh, people say, whoa, whoa, you're doing too much. You're doing too slow. It's kind of like the, the crab in the bucket, right? All the, you're in, you're in the bucket and you're trying to crawl out of the bucket and all the crabs are keep clawing you in. Um, that's just kind of comes with the territory when you're doing something new and doing something different um, with the people you're currently surrounded by. And as life moves on, you, you typically change social groups or people that are close to you. It kind of evolves over time, right? You think of the people you went to elementary school with. How many of those people are you, were you connected with in high school? And then through high school, how many of those people are you connected through in university? And then how many of those people are you connected with uh, in your 20s? And then how many of those people are you connected with at your wedding? And so on and so forth. You get it. Um, <clears throat> that's just kind of, just the kind of progression of life, I guess. Um, kind of one thing for me is I, I'd rather have four quarters and a hundred pennies, uh, because everyone gets so busy. You only got so much time and so much energy for so many relationships in your life. So, um, let's get into this Flip, flipping is Flipping a house is about renovating what must be renovated at the lowest possible cost. You got to pinch your pennies, man. Pinch your pennies in real estate to make money. Have to. Um, if you successfully add value, you can make a considerable profit. Everything you do, add value. Add value. Change the electrical outlets. Really, spend eighty bucks. Change all the electrical outlets. Spend five hours rewiring them. Yeah, do that. It actually works paint the walls, put new baseboards on and don't buy the cheap ones. Spend an extra 200 bucks on baseboards. Yeah. 
put new door handles on. What door handle? Just, just do it, okay? Just do it. And then once you do it, you're like, oh wow, all these little touches add up to uh, to a nice uh, renovated home. <clears throat> In a really hot market, you don't even have to add value through renovations to turn a profit. That's true. It's kind of Vancouver. Place is crazy. Hope I get into. Uh, I plan to get into my first uh, deal here sometime the next year or two. Um, you can get in the game in Vancouver. You can start playing, right? Moving chips around. But the trick is getting in the game. It's the same thing with entrepreneurship. Consult experts. As much as I know my business and how to make the numbers work properly, I still always check myself in with an expert. I do the same too. And uh, one of my friends slash mentors, he was giving me crap yesterday because wasting his time. These are stupid questions. But it's like, okay, well... I'd rather someone tell me I'm stupid and I ask the question and make sure I'm not going to make a mistake and walk into a pitfall or avoid a, pro a future problem if I can by asking a question. Um, so I'll take that on the chin. Get good financing. If money comes with an interest rate that will completely destroy your profitability, then the money is no good. If the money comes attached to a money partner whose interventions might make your life a living hell, the money is no good. Lots of great value in this book. Lots of uh, common sense wisdom. I got to get going. Got to get going to uh, back to work. And someone just came to the house. So I got to go attend to that. But great book. Very easy to read. A lot of highlighted notes. Common sense. Educate yourself before you hop in and do something. If you're going to do something and it's going to take a lot of money and a lot of time, educate yourself. Watch videos. Call people. If you don't know anyone who knows this stuff, ask them for referrals, work in your warm market. Don't just go off and try to figure things on your own. Please don't do that. You don't have to anymore with the internet and the way referrals work. But anyways, have a great day. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Fix and Flip. Great book, by the way, Mark Loeffler and Ian Zabo. Great job, guys. Great job. Thanks for passing on the wisdom. See ya.